Hello, Monsters of Banter, and welcome to Fort Triumph. Now, this video is being sponsored by All In Games, the publisher of Fort Triumph. Uh, this game is also developed by Cookie Bite Entertainment, and apparently, the game got a major update with new content at the end of October. I don't know what the new content was, but good. So, this game is a bit like if Heroes of Might and Magic 3, the good one, and XCOM sort of got got the dirty on, and this was the result. And it's really good. Now, there's four different races you can play, and also a campaign, but the campaign you can only play as humans, and I was like, who the fuck wants to play as humans? Humans are really boring. So I'm playing a skirmish. Um, you can pick difficulty and the number of opponents you're going to face. There's also three different sort of zones that you can battle in. So this is the caverns. There's also the crypts and the grasslands as well. And you kind of have your little group of heroes here. So we've got uh, we've got these lads here. So I'm playing as as the forest utopia. Yeah. So they're kind of like big old big old troll boys, I guess, which is quite nice. And uh, each of the different races has a, a different benefit. And these guys have a lot of health. But they can't take cover because they're so big. So this game does have a cover system. Like XCOM, it's, I mean, a lot of games have that sort of same cover system. But I guess it's just such an elegant system that a lot of games are like, well, yes, it just makes sense to, to copy it. Um, but this faction can't use them. I was playing the goblins beforehand. They get extra bonuses from cover but I think they have less health overall. So if they get hit, then obviously that, that's bad news for them. Uh, these guys can take a few more hits, but obviously they don't get the benefits of uh, any cover. So much like Heroes of Might and Magic, you kind of have a town, which is like over here, and we can actually upgrade some of these buildings, should we wish to. So we can, uh, so we can, we can build a trophy collector. So gain plus one bonus. The maximum health points after upon killing a unit. The effect is not retained between battles. Um, but we can upgrade to the city hall here. And that will give us a little bit more of the uh, the coins. Which are these purpley things over here. Why they didn't make them gold? I don't know. Apparently they're beetroot coins. Um, which is fine I guess. I've got no problem with that. But I, I when it said get more coins. I was like. What, which, which, which is coins again? It's this thing. So we're going to upgrade that, and that's going to upgrade our city hall. We can also recruit more heroes if we have the coins for it. Um, you get three options, and if you recruit them, then you get another option pop up, and they do have randomized abilities, and I think levels and stats as well. Um, you can also have like little upgrades here, which you need to have certain buildings for. So, for example, the tier one weapons requires the university, and this uses the uh, renowned. Is it renowned? It is renowned. Look at that. And you've also got the maximum number of heroes you can have across all parties, so you can upgrade that as well. So currently we can only have four, and uh, currently each of our our parties can, can only have three, but we can upgrade that to five eventually. And just like Heroes of Might and Magic, you, can, you have a certain number of movement points that your party can move, so you can see there's little grey dots there appearing as we try and move. And there's, there's areas you can, you can investigate. We just destroyed an enemy army over here and collected some fairy dust. Should we go into our army? We can see that I've equipped that to Rob Dredmington, who is who is our mage. That's right, that's he's a mage. And uh, you kind of get these... Um, it's quite a nice system, actually. You have this skill tree here. Now, you can sort of, like, upgrade your abilities, or you can get new abilities. And there's different archetypes. I think there's four different types of class so far I've seen. So you've got the, the Berserker, the sort of, like, um, the, the Barbarian. You've got the Mage, the Archer, and a Paladin as well. Okay, so let's, uh, let's pop over here because there's a, there's a Totem of Stamina. So let's grab that one. So you t reach a tawdry totem, clearly made of th a third-rate architect. While making fun of the totem, you suddenly notice that the architect is standing nearby. Abashed, you hasten to get away as quickly as possible. Plus eight to the party steps. Yeah, it's, it's that kind of game. There's a certain sort of, like, um, a certain sort of humour to it, which is, you know, which is fine. Uh, so we're going to... Well, uh, there's question marks. Lots of question marks. It's up next to a small potion shop in the form of a loose planks and hovel-like structure. A shifty-eyed and overactive potion brewer emerges from within. You're just in time, he says. These are the last I've got. He laughs disturbingly. Free potion! You get power potions. That's going to give us two power for one turn. Get uh, stuns a single target or cancel stun protection of all enemy units. Let's take two power. I'm going to take two power. And, oh, look, there's some goblins over here. Let's bop these guys. Or at least try, because I'm going to be honest, the battles are quite brutal in this. I found us playing as the goblins. Um, there is permadeath, which I've turned off for this. 
But um, there is permadeath, and it is very easy to get your, your boys killed, unfortunately. Um, so we're going to... Now, because obviously we don't get any uh, any help from cover, there's no point worrying too much about it. So, I mean, if, if we did get um, cover, then you'd, you'd be able to see shields as you kind of like... Um, as you moused around the the different... Do we get... Oh, there's a shield there. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to skedaddle over here. And then we're going to plink away at this little gobbo over here. Bop, there we go. Four health points damage. And now, this lad can cast magic. And we do have Whirlwind, which is quite nice. What I'm thinking I might do is... So, if we, you can see kind of like a little directional arrow appear. And what we can actually do with that is use it to like smash other units. So if we use it, for example, on this stone pillar here... going to land on his head and stun him and do quite a lot of damage. Good work there. And then we've got our barbarian Mike who is going to I think come over here now. Who, these guys are archers aren't they? So in fact what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run over here because what that's going to do is then lock them into combat with me and they won't be able to uh, open fire. And then we can just end my turn and we're going to see what they're going to do. So he's going to run over there. He's going to attack us. He's now in our zone of control but that's fine. He's going to try and run away. We get to attack him as he tries to scamper off. Um, because we've already used an opportunity attack. Ooh. Yeah, little jerk. Okay, now because we're, he's in our zone of control, we can't open fire on him. But can we potentially kill him with this? This will do five to six damage. It isn't going to hit him, though. So let's move a little bit closer. So if we come over here, we're still only going to use one of our action points, which is fine. And then we can nuke him good and hard. He's out of there. Okay, now do we kill this guy over here or this guy over here? Options, options, options. I think we can kill this guy. So I'm, oh, no, I mean, you've got eight, three hit points. You've got nine. So let's come down here because you're you're a slightly bigger threat, I think. Good job. And also now he's uh, he's in our zone of control, which is fine. And uh, we can now move over here. It do have some different abilities, but I don't need to use them at the moment, so... Okay, you're dead. And you're going to attack us over there, which is a little bit of a problem, but it's it should be fine. What are you doing? Are you just, just going to die? Okay, sure. Now, because you've gone into Overwatch, it should be a problem if we moved any of our other characters, but because, of course... We've got uh, we've got Mike over here. Mike can just bludgeon that little dweeb to death. We also have little items like we've got these these little pots over here, which we can actually go and use. I think some of these, and they will give us di give us different benefits. But I don't think there's any way of actually telling what those are beforehand. Um, so I won't worry too much about that because I mean this battle's almost pretty much over. I think so. It's a forty nine percent chance. If I come down here, sixty four, and down he goes. And we are victorious, and we get some uh, some extra renown that shows us what the difficulty score was, and our grade, and how many turns it took. All that kind of good stuff. So, this game is, I mean, it's, it's good. It's really good. I liked it. I wasn't expecting, like, I read the description, which was like an XCOM-like turn-based thing, and I'd read some of the reviews on it, and I thought, well, that sounds fairly good, but... I, I, you know what, I, I hadn't realised how much I'd missed Heroes of Might and Magic. Uh, you find the desiccated grave of an ancient general, once famous across the land, his name now means nothing to you now. All the valuables that decorate the body are gone, except for a shimmering amulet that somehow remain, remain behind. You manage to disable its magic and remove it from the body. Warding amulet, the first damage gets you and it does, deals no damage. Okay, that's pretty good, I'll take that. Let's put that on Mike, because he does tend to run into things and uh, is, is likely, to get, uh, likely to get mashed, I think. Um, so, I mean, we could down come. We could come and deal with these goblins. We haven't actually leveled up yet, have we? We're almost there. Rob is at thirty-nine of forty skill points, so we're almost there. Um, this little army here does have a goblin bomber and two shamans. Now they're quite nasty. Yeah, that difficulty is four skulls. I don't think I can deal with that. So we're just going to. Uh, we're not going to pick a fight with them at the moment. We're just going to end our turn. So much like Heroes of Might Magic, there are enemy cities, enemy players on the map also 
having their turn and wandering around. There are currently sort of three cities here. You can see this is ours. And then there's two that we don't currently have. I'm not 100% sure if you take over a city whether you get to, like, recruit their heroes as well. Not sure. Uh, right, where do we want to go? I'm going to... Let's, let's, let's skedaddle up here. And so there's a common chest there. There's a coin chest there. Let's have a chat with you. So it's another potion shop. Uh, so it's not... Prevent use of AO or being uh, to be targeted directly. Okay, armor for one turn. Restore five hit points upon use. That could be useful. Okay, there's some footmen down here, which I think would probably. Ooh, but a magical altar. I mean, I want a magical altar. That's, that's, what was this? And a small deserted magical altar. You lose yourself in thoughts as you gaze at its dazzling bluish glow as you come to you realize that you've become wiser god i wish that happened in real life okay so we have leveled up now so we could level up but we need to be level three to do that so i'm just going to get a new ability so we get a, a bow attack which stands the ranger's bow against a single oh you know, so this is like a melee attack if we need to use that so that's four to five damage it's quite useful if we do get into melee uh, a cursed arrow halving its offensive stats not bad. Or evasive. You know what? I quite like the... Because the AI does like to try and, like, cut you off. So actually, being able to slam my bow into their face, probably probably quite useful. And, uh... John? Chain lightning. Ooh. A ricochet. Now, I haven't seen many um, AoE abilities. And in fact, you can see this is a rare ability. So, electrocute's common. Shockwave is uncommon, but uh, Chain Lightning is a rare one, so we're definitely going to grab Chain Lightning. So, your characters, although there's only four archetypes, your characters do become sort of, like, different based on what skills they get to invest in. Because John here might not have got Chain Lightning. Now he's got Chain Lightning, that's going to be quite potent. Uh, now, we've got Mike, our Barbarians. We've got Dash and Slash. Grant an extra action, but that could be quite powerful. Evasive, next reaction time. I'm not so bothered about that one. Prod, push the unit one time. I'm not so bothered about that one, but Grant an extra action ability, the Barbarian, could be incredibly useful. So we're going to grab that one. It's, a, it's basically a free free action point, usable every th three turns. So I think that's that's an obvious one to grab there. Okay, let's go down and defeat these footmen. And we could auto win, but where's the fun in that? I want to use my new abilities, especially my chain lightning. Holy shit. Shocking, because it's it's a light. I mean, yeah, it's a lightning ability. Okay, good, good. Okay, so so we currently can't see where our opponents are. So if we like scamper over here, we should. Ah, there they are. There they are, and we could take a pot shot at them. 41, 49, 38. Yeah, let's take a pot shot, may as well. Missed, but he did hit. We did hit his cover there, so sometimes you will actually hit the the cover items, and that has then a potential chance to uh, destroy them. So this costs two. So let's try that. Nope, missed. Uh, okay, if we come down here, what's his ability? Unskilled. Cannot inflict critical hits. Oh, that's not very good. I'm going to be honest. I might have to get rid of him. There's no critical hits on a barbarian. I mean, that's, that's garbage. That is proper freaking garbage. Really? 30, okay, you come here and then we shoot should have probably waited on the uh, on the chain lightning never mind uh, yeah let's do that good right so can we if I use this this will give me an extra action point which will give me three So can I use my attack twice then? Yes is the answer to that. Good to know. OK. 
Okay, do I want to... Okay, he's he's pretty much going to be fairly easy to deal with. So we will... In fact, should we... I'm going to... I'm going to run over here. And then I'm just going to hit him with my bow. Clobbered. How do you like them apples? And we'll scamper over here. And then... Yeah, there was a reason that was an auto win. But still, you know, it's... Half the fun is playing the battles. You kind of have to. Okay, so that's going to be wiping out those, and then we can go and grab the coin chest. And we could take the experience, but I think I'm going to take the I'm going to take the cash. I'm going to take the cash because I want to build a unit. Oh, we don't need, I need four magic. To build a university. I can't. Rubbish. Uh, what do you do? You're cocky. That's rubbish, isn't it? Minus two power, minus two armor. <laughs> Alright, never mind. We need we need more magic, boys. What's this? That's a lot of spiders. A clique of house spiders. And this is a few siege spiders. Okay, we'll kill the few we'll kill the few siege spiders. Um, we'll just all win that one. Going for the treasure. I'm going to take the XP this time, I think. Got some leveled up. So, I'm going to grab... Ooh. I'm going to grab... Yeah, let's get a reduction on chain lightning, I think. And... Let's see what new ability we could get. Knock back arrow. Push the target away from the ranger, maybe. Cancel the reaction of a single type of fire arrow. Burning causes damage based on the fire's intensity. I'm kind of like... Mark the... So that would mark the target. That would do a bleed. I mean, this is this is a bog standard shot, isn't it? So let, let's grab that one. And then... We can get bleed there. That would reduce the... I mean, that, that seems quite powerful. What about new ability? I don't think... Ooh, Terrify. Impairs a single target for one turn from short range. Cannot use offensive abilities. Hmm. Every attack aimed against a barbarian, the barbarian gives one AP on the next turn. Oh, that's quite nice. That's a potential. That is one action point. That's a rare ability, but I, I just don't know. That could, I mean, teamed with our one extra AP, that could be used to, like, lock down quite a... It's got a cooldown of four turns, but... Does that have a cooldown? Grants an extra action ability to... Holy shit, I don't think it does. So effectively, if you if you rank it up to max, then you can... Like, you, you could... You could terrify four enemy units a turn with that, theoretically. That that seems pretty good. Um, let's fight some Skellingtons. They're Skellingtons. Barrera spreading fire. Seriously. I've not had any fire attacks yet, but that's a good... That's a good tip. Now, Skellingtons cannot be blinded, nor can they bleed. Because obviously they're Skellingtons, so they don't, don't have any any blood or eyeballs. So, I mean, you know, it makes sense. It's a 47% chance, but sure. Oh, aced it. Aced it. Holy shit. So I'm just going to go on to Overwatch. Make them come to me, I think. Okay, he, oh, he, he got all up in my shit and then decided to run away. Fair enough. It's a mood. Okay. Okay, Mike. You come over here. That's it. Bop him. You scamper over here. Then you can probably... 
kill him. And then we can just meander over here. Only a 25% shot. In fact, you know what we could do is just like... Oh, sh I'm the wrong bloody side of this thing now. That'll just hit me. Uh, that's going to take two action points, isn't it? Shit. Okay, let's just take the punt. It paid off. This game... This game... It rewards careful thinking, and I'm not really a careful thinker. I'm very much a sort of like, do stuff, then complain about my actions. But, you know, that works too, to a certain degree anyway. Okay, what's in the chest? What's in the box? What's in the box? It's a decanter. After a long night at the local bar, you wake up in the morning hugging an empty decanter. How did it get here? Using a potion also restores three health points. Oh. Okay. So the water amulet's quite nice. So we've got a few bits and pieces here, but... Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Now, uh, you are quite nasty, potentially. So, chat, we could try and... That's quite a few nasty... Uh, no, I think what we're going to do is actually we're going to come over here. Going to come across this little bridge. Now, the, the map is uh, randomly generated each time. So you're never going to have the same map, which is nice. Ooh, some magic. I do need some magic. Four magic. Good. So now I can come here and I can build the university. Do I want to build the university? Yes, I do. So that's going to take one turn. That's going to be nice. What's this? Corrupted magic. Is that good? Bad? Not 100% sure. Let's go and fight these skeletons. I think they've got guns. Skellingtons with guns, what will they think of next? Okay... Skellingtons? None? Okay, sure. Should we, should we, should we find out what this does? I'll tell you what, uh... Mike, come here. There's the Skellingtons. There's a. Does he have a gun? What's he got? It's a. Oh, it's a crossbow. All right. Well, that seems less, slightly less ludicrous for some reason. Um, okay, that was a healy thing. So that gave us some more health. Didn't need it. Never mind. You can just. You can just chill there. I think. Can we? I'm gonna put you on Overwatch. I think. And I'm also going to like. I'm going to put you on Overwatch as well. I'm going to bring you over here. And we're going to do that. Missed. You suck. That's how it's done. That's how it's done, my buckos. Nice. Nice, them gobbos. Okay, you're going to come running over that way, but that's fine. Now, we can actually level up during the mission, so there's nothing to stop you from doing that. So, I, I think I could get a new ability. What do we have? Pacify, quick shot, blinding light. So, quick shot. Oh, so this does... So, it doesn't cost any action points. Oh, okay, that's quite nice. So, basically, you just get a free shot. I'll take it. Right. If we... I'm going to... Dash and slash? Right, if I meander... Uh oh. Okay, missed. Can meander over here. That leaves us with two... Okay, so I can either terrify him... Let's do that, and then we'll just get in up in his face. Can you terrify a skeleton? Asking for a friend. Apparently, yes. Apparently, you can. You can somehow scare a skeleton. Not sure. Not sure how, but it does, doesn't matter. 
Okay, he's going down and wait, 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 wait. quick shot. Don't forget the quick shot. It's only got a 1% chance. Don't probably, yeah, probably, probably right not to worry about that then. Uh, what percent chance? 20. Okay, in that case, just Overwatch, I think. Oh, he did not like that. Hey, come back. Don't, don't be afraid. I just want to be friends. I don't want to kill him. I'm lying to him. What's my chance to hit? 42, that's not bad. Was that the mushroom in front of him? Who knows? Not a problem. Uh, right. Let's give myself an extra, extra debris. And then I can just come up here and beat the ever-loving snot out of him. Which is weird, because he neither is living nor has snot. Look at that. Got a B. I think that's my highest ever grade. I'm getting better at this game. Okay, now we've got a beet farm here. So this just going to give us 125 coins a day. Very nice. Oh, we've also leveled up. Uh, right, that's going to reduce that cooldown. That will reduce that. I'm, I'm tempted to get this one because having more action points is, is just good for a barbarian. The troop of skeletons there, that could be quite, quite nasty. So, um... Let's not worry about that right now. We've got buildings we can build. What can we build? We can build a tannery. A magic distillery. Ooh, a trophy collection. <gasps> a tenacity cat. I don't know what that is. Um, but the magic distillery is going to give us some random amount of magic at the start of every week, which seems sensible to build that and just get some, some magic income, because we don't have that at the moment. So what's corrupted magic? It's also, you know, it doesn't swell, spark, or even gleam as it normally should, so, so you know, defensive powers diminish. Um, you suspect that going closer may allow you to absorb some of this effect until the end of the week, as well as gain a bit of magic. Offensive powers diminish, but the potency of your kicks and hooks... I don't think I want that. What's this? You enter the Temple of Ver, the god of sacrifice. It is barren, as it should be, but mysteriously well maintained. A fountain of blood stands before you. Blood shall set thee free, a plaque exclaims. Uh, three damage start of every battle for two days. Oof. That's, uh, that's quite nasty. I could take the Hundred Renown, though, because we've got the University. I mean, three damage for us is not If we were goblins, that would be absolutely devastating, because I think like, they had like six health points. It would be 50%. But we're big old troll boys, so to hell with it. I'm taking it. Ooh, an uncommon chest. Happen upon a brewery giving out free samples of its most excellent brew. You want to ask if the liquid is supposed to glow, but the Russian crowd quickly pushes you aside. Uh, gains the overdrive ability. Adds 2 AP at the cost of 1 AP on the next turn. Limited one use per battle. Okay. That sounds quite nice, doesn't it? So we could make, I mean, the thing is, I quite like the warding amulet on Mike. Is there something that lets us, like, research ability to, to equip more stuff? That's what I'd like. I mean, there we go. Inventory slots. Perfect. Got it. Um, <laughs> could increase the party size. More damage would be quite nice. You need to start with one extra action point to start the battle. Ooh, that'd be quite nice. I mean, all of this is quite nice. Increase party size, though. Let's grab that. Magic Distillery, uh, we spent all of our money, but um, we could potentially go and grab a new hero. A very dead corpse. I mean, that's the best kind of corpse, in my opinion. You don't want the live ones. They're only trouble. Okay, let's go and grab this. Uh, what magic? 100? I'm going to take the coins. Is this the clinic? The large sign hangs in front of a tiny tent. We treat everyone, it appears to say. When you enter the tent, a withered old man offers you a treat you with his magic pill. I feel extremely uncomfortable with how he phrases the offer. <laughs> uh, remove one random trait or remove all traits. Um, so we can get rid of this. So actually, what I can, I can take this off, Mike. Tastes like cough medicine. You're suddenly missing your grandparents. Ah. 
So does that mean he doesn't have that anymore? Holy shit, he doesn't. That's amazing. Didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, this is... A you know what? We should probably head back and pick up another another guy. We could do that. So there's a few options here. I mean, I, I do quite like the barbarians. They are quite killy. So I'm tempted for that. Uh, but... Cocky's not great. Bloodthirsty, plus one... I mean, that would be quite potent. What's this one? Cast Overwatch Brace at the end of the turn if no attack was performed. Okay, so you can do other things, just not attack. Um, I th I'm, we're going to get you. Um, so we've got... Who's this guy? Is he a paladin? This guy, yeah, so this guy's a paladin. So he's a bit more tanky than the others. Uh, but his trait is again... I mean, that, that's not so bad, because he's supposed to be more tanky than anything else, but um, that's fine. New heroes available in town. Monsters grow in strength. Ooh. So, right. New heroes. Oh, yes. They switched around. I mean, just as well we grabbed that other guy, really, because he's got the rare trait that we kind of want. Um, so that's fine. Good. Could upgrade the citadel. That would increase hero cap by two. During sieges, prize a spitting spider and a spiderling. We need to gain plus one bonus to their maximum health points upon killing an enemy. Um, I mean, more more hero cap sounds quite nice. Just in case we find anyone who's who's useful, so we're going to grab that one. I think. Let's come over here and we'll grab you. Swap you around just so we have a nice, like, order of battle there. Um, should we... There's a few goblin shamans down there. We'll, we'll, we'll come down here. This this, this should not be particularly difficult for us to deal with right now. Although I will say that the, the goblin shamans do have the same wind ability and it was used in one of the battles I was in earlier. It's a pretty devastating effect. It killed one of my characters and wounded two of them. So you have to be a little bit careful where you stand with those buggers. Right. So, can't see them yet. So, if I... There they are. There they are. Um, That's not a great chance. I'm just going to go on to Overwatch, I think. And we could get stuck right in there. Just fucking go for it. Slice and dice, mother chuppers. Slice and dice. Plus, he's now in uh, in combat as well, which means he, he's gonna he's a bit stuck there. Oh, can we? I'd love to get some some chain lightning on. It's only a thirty seven percent chance though. Forty two. Oh, it's not great. I'm gonna. Do I hold off? Do I maybe? do a little wind because this guy's a bomber which I do not like so let's let's see if we can oh and then because he moved of course we've got the overwatch shot off as well very nice so we can bring you over and I could do this oh it missed okay so that's his warding amulet So they're giving themselves stun protection. Okay, not the end of the world. So that will pull. It's not going to. What about you? What do you want? Mm. What does this do? Chance of hitting uh, a single. Okay, so we could. Uh, it's not. It's not that long range. Okay, come over here. I mean, what we could do is actually do this. So that's going to pull that towards us. And then we can get that shot off and miss. Which is not my, what my intention was, but never mind. That's fine. 
Now, you're out in the open, which means we should have an easier time of hitting you. So, I'm going to go like there. Nice. Okay, if you, if you come over here. Don't know if that, that's not really going to ricochet, is it? Or is it? Is it? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, it does. Nice. Okay, that's pretty good. And John, the festive has leveled up. I do quite like Whirlwind. Let's see what abilities he'd get. Electrocute is nice. Because basically you use it on an enemy and then if they move they take damage. So if you flank them they're going to try and move and they will do considerable damage to themselves. Ow. What are you doing? I don't like that. Ow. I knew I wouldn't like that. Also, ow. That was that was all the owies. Okay, what have we got? Uh, let's, let's electrocute you. I can action point you. How much health do you have? Too much. Okay. But then I can action point myself. And then I can cut you. Oh. Oh, you exploded because you have bombs. Okay, I can I can resurrect Mike because I turned permadeath on, but how, mother? Ugh. Can't believe Mike dies. Can't believe it. Unbelievable. Well, as I say unbelievable, obviously it's it's fairly believable that that did indeed happen. Um, shall we just try What happens if I if that actually hit him? Can't tell. You know what? I should have, I should have given Mike the healing potion, shouldn't I? Because I actually got the the inventory. At, what the fuck? Oh, there's a spider egg. Uh oh. Okay. You know what? I can come over here, and then I can just ram my bow into his head. And I can blow that. Eat it, you little dweeb. Uh, that spider is kind of annoying, but I'm just going to ignore it. I think we can ignore the spider. If I do that, it'll blow it into him and probably kill him, so... Okay, didn't kill him. Did a lot of damage. Ow. Oh, don't don't kill him, you jerks. Uh, okay, I can do that. What can I do here? Kill the spider. Good. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Are you going to get hit by a spider? No. Uh, right, what options do I have here? Kill the spider. Please don't... What, what are you doing? Okay. I'm okay with that, to a certain degree. How many hit points do you have? Two. Okay, that's fine, because... I can just meander over here and then shoot you in the face. Good. That's for Mike. 
And if I come over here, it's only a 19% chance. Go do that. Let's electrocute you. And then, with any luck, this will hit. But if not, oh yeah, it will hit. Bloodthirsty. Oof. That was horrible. Got a lot of renown, though. Now I just have to go and res Mike again. How do I res Mike? Can I res Mike? I'm not 100% sure. It, it, like, I turned permadeath off. I just don't know how I'm supposed to resurrect my, my boys. When they get brutally blown up by stabbing a suicide bomber in the face. That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Um, so. Heroes. Is there like a special building I need, maybe? I have no fucking idea. Hmm. Am I gonna am I gonna need a new one? There's definitely a way to resurrect them somehow. Alright, well, I'll worry about that in a second. Not a big deal. Uh, let's get the magic. And a totem of stamina. Good stuff. What's this? The automaton. Count an odd looking automaton. It buzzes and hums and seems strangely fascinated by you. Flesh thing, your design is inefficient. With enough beat coins, I can meet enhance you. Or if you have enough magic, I can optimize your structure. You really have a feeling that you aren't living up to your full potential these past few years. Was it merely a design flaw? Gain a lucky trait. You hope it's better enhancement than those pills you've been taking. <laughs> um, yeah, all right. John, do we want John to have it? John the festive? Yeah, okay. You feel like a million bitcoins. Who knew money could buy a better you? Indeed. Okay, we can build a different building. More coins per day. That does, you know, more money. That sounds good, right? Provides one armor to units. Your effect does not stack. Um... Let's get more money, because that means we can just do better things. We could then get the... X... Yeah, let's do that. If only I knew how to resurrect my boys. Like, he's not here. Maybe they just show up. Wait, is that Mike? Is that the right Mike? I don't think so. Fuck knows. Uh, right, we need, we need to get another boy, though. Regardless. Oh, Hello. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're all level five. What am I? Uh, four, four, one. Right, yeah, we need to get the fuck out of here. Run, run! We need, we need friends. They're coming for me. Oh god, there's, there's three of them. This isn't good. This isn't good. Okay, we'll get that. You come over here. You come over here. Oh, it is Mike. There's Mike. Bloody Mike. Oh, dick. Uh, I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you that and that and a power potion. I'm going to give Rob that. Okay, good. Am I feeling a little bit more? I'm, I'm feeling a little bit more potent. So, we're, we're going to... Oh, God. Oh, they're all coming for me. They're taking my stuff. That's my stuff. I wanted that. Fair and square. Shall we, shall we try and take on? It, it looks tough. There's only three of them, though. We've got four. So, can... 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 Well, let, Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's take them. We can take these boys. Let's get stuck in. 
what's the worst they can do? I mean, kill us all is the worst they can do. That is, that is, you know, the, the worst possible outcome. But um, I'm feeling good. You finally get to arrive at Hero Party and defending players so it's a race Overwatch for all units. Noted. So. Right. Right. Okay. So we can upset their Overwatch by, you know, slamming pillars on their heads. That's going to do it. Okay. New ability. Sure. Take electrocute. Okay, now that's upset some of their plans. So that's a good start. But we need, we need more of that. I need more. I've had a taste and I need more. You've only got four health. I could potentially take you out. Okay, didn't do as much damage as I liked. Never mind. I might leave you on Overwatch. I mean, the first the first shot he takes is going to be. It's going to use three AP. Be nullified anyway, right? So I'm going to move you over here. I'm then going to take this. So that's going to give me so that's fine because it isn't going to have any effect on him. Then we can bludgeon him to death. That has then used their overwatch. So I can come over here. Now, what's our options? That's not great. We could take a little shot there, but that's not great either. I'm gonna... Right, just overwatch. And you can come down here. Okay. Nice. Okay, we, we can have a little... We can have a little duel, if that's what you want. Bucko. Right, I'm going to... If I come down here... We'll do that. Not ideal. Okay, you come down here. I'm a little bit worried about Mike. Don't want to lose him again. Minus 50 evade. Free as well. Okay, let's do that. 82% chance is better. We should have done that to start off with. That did, did, did something. And then we can get the two damage as well. Which misses. Never mind. Okay, if you come down here, then we can whack Electrocute on you. You're going to want to run and kill yourself. Thank you. Aced it. There we go. Okay, they're down. I guess if I've turned Permadeath off, that counts for them as well. It's unfortunate. Oh well. Okay, we have dealt with you. Can we also deal with you? I mean, this one should be easier. We've destroyed their main party. So we just now to need to deal with these guys. We 
which shouldn't be difficult. Now, so what does this do? Adds two AP at the cost of one AP on the next turn. Right, so we basically have less AP next turn, which is fine. Um, so, yeah, we're going to... We're going to use that. And then we're just... That's fine, because... Amulet of Warding. Get those hits in. You're also in my zone of control, which means you're a bit stuffed. So, I could... Bleeding on the claws would be quite nice. Blink, though. One action point lets you blink eight tiles. Hmm. Daredevil stance. When activated for every attack aimed at the barbarian, the barbarian gains one AP on the next turn. Okay, so we've seen that one and charge. Charge in a straight line, going through small objects and walls, and destroys everything in its path. Cannot go through units or big objects. I'm going to get the, the bleed attack, I think. That's what we're going to do. Oh, I thought you'd used your Overwatch attack. Apparently not. Never mind. Let's return fire. Good. We've got, our, we've got our quick shot. Let's use that one as well. 77% chance. Nice. Might be able to finish him off. So this is their weaker team, so I'm not surprised that this is quite as, as easy as it Quite as easy it was. Never mind. There we go. A little bit more renowned and all that kind of good stuff. Experience as well. Help us level up to their... Because they were like level 6, weren't they? I think I think having the two mages really did help because those wind attacks. And my, and my berserker being able to just get stuck in. My barbarian even. Just get straight in there. Start wailing away. Okay, you're dead. Magic Distiller. We quite like that. The Good Alchemist. Now, there is another team. Not quite as strong as the other one, though. So let's come over here and grab this. Come across a magic extractor, a device which extracts magic from crystals and converts in something that won't kill you on the spot. Sadly, the process is rather slow. Fair enough. Um... So so, I, I do like Whirlwind. Okay, what new abilities could we get? Telekinesis, on which by Shockwave. Pushes away at units and objects at a distance of two tiles away in a specific direction. Count miss. I think I just like Whirlwinds. I'm just going to take Whirlwinds. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. I didn't think they would go straight for me, but I was wrong. I should have recruited more heroes. Have I just got two spiders to save me? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I've got I've got two spiders. Uh, I mean, it's not great. I'll level with you. I mean, it could be better. It legitimately could be better. Uh, what's this? Toxic spits. Right. That's two action points. Okay. Probably should have recruited some heroes to, like, defend my town. Yeah, I, I don't think this is going to go well for me, in all honesty. Now... I mean, that was that was just rude. Ah. Ah, I see. Well, nonetheless, what what's that going to do for? Do I still have my team? Can I come back and read? Because I should be able to retake it, right? My boys, my boys should be fine. In theory. I see, yeah. I mean, in hindsight, in hindsight, oh, you, you, oh, you little shits. Okay, I'm going to take back my town.
I'm gonna take back my town, goddammits. I can't believe those little goblin shits. Oof, the absolute bloody nerf. Oh, they've recruited some of my boys as well. Unbelievable. Ups, ups are the absolute gall of it. Oh, the little shits. Right. Fine. Fine. I'll stall. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, could block that. Uh, you know what? Missed. Never mind. Uh, right. Let's cast that. Yeah, I don't care. I do not care. Finish him! Did you finish him? You didn't finish him. He's got one health left. Hon honestly. You could finish him, though. I'm going to let you finish him. Just one more health would have done. To be honest, he was bleeding, wasn't he? So he would have died anyway. Oh well. See, I'm, I'm flustered. I'm vexed. Can we get the shot off? Hey, yeah. No, no, don't, don't do that. Oh. Fine. Anyone else? Don't think we've got any. No, okay. I've even got my bloody spiders here. God. Right. Flying tonight. And finally, my little, my little spidery boy. Oh, you've. Mike's got nothing because he's he's all drained. That's all right. Don't worry about it, buddy. You did you did good. You did good. Now I just need to deal with this little shit. Ninety-two percent. Come on, don't miss. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to find those goblins and I'm going to pull their faces off. Not their ears. That, that Their ears would be on their face. I'm going to pull their ears off and then the rest of their face. And then I'm going to stuff it up their bottom. Okay, so is everything still intact? Looks like we didn't lose anything, so that's good. Um... Didn't lose our bonuses. Nope. Okay, fine. Could get more inventory slots. We don't really have the increased speed. That would be quite nice. Extra action pointers. You know what? That that would probably be quite useful. So let's, so let's grab that one. Let's grab that one. Let's go chasing off these goblins. Because I'm going to... Oof. going to find the little shits. Um, I'm going to build a tannery. Get some... Are you, are, you, are you actually going for my town again? Are you actually, is that actually what you're doing? You've got one of my bot. You okay? So you you can if you take the enemy town, you can recruit their heroes. There we go. Now we know. Now we know. Okay, so we get more skill point or more action points at the start of the turn. So we can potentially let's let's do this. That's a seventy-one percent chance. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to do that. And I'm then going to do this. 
let's electrocute you. I kind of want to come over and murder you. So, yeah, I'm going to come over here. And we're going to mess you up, my old bucko. Oh, I could get to AP. Yeah, okay, let's do that. And then we can finish you off. Make sure that you live no longer. Okay, what else do we have here? Do we have, you're, you've both done your things, haven't you? Okay. So I could pull you over here. And get a little shot off for the big boy. Maybe a little quick shot as well. And do anything else? No, nope. I'm good. Ooh. Ooh, they're going for him. They don't like him. They're throwing everything they got. No! Not again, Mike. Not again. Why must the beautiful die so young? Never mind. Alright, what do we got here? Do we have... Okay, you are probably going to die anyway. So, I'm going to do this. Let's see if we can finish you off. We can. Lovely. Then we... Can, uh, can, we, can we do anything after that? Not really. Should have really used that, shouldn't I? In hindsight. In hindsight, communism works. In hindsight. Okay, let's make sure you're dead. Or not. The case may be... Never mind, you should. Ow. Okay, okay. I see what you're doing. Right, I need to kill you, don't I? So if you come over here, then we can... 90% chance. Kill you. Lovely. And that's a 4 to 5. Uh, are you going to be okay? Oh yeah. 100% chance. Down they go. Holy shits. We did it everyone. We've killed the usurpers. Thank goodness for that. There we go. And we're, we're going to have to go and get Mike back, I guess. <sighs> God damn it, Mike. Every single fucking time. I swear, Mike. One of these days. One of these. Boom. Zoom straight to the moon. You hear me? Okay. Well, we got Mike back. And uh, that's fine. Oh, you should also note that you can you can change some of the colours should you want to. But there's no other personalization you can do on the characters, unfortunately. it's It's literally just hair secondary and primary but um you know it's it's fine it is what it is and uh, it's uh, it's quite nice so this is this is Fort Triumph neat little game in fact let's just go and take a look at some of the other some of the other options that we can get so you get the campaign which you can play as currently humans play tutorial permadeath can't play any of the other Good. maybe maybe they'll add other campaigns afterwards. That might be quite nice. But the skirmish is quite good, so you get the four different factions there. You've got different amount of players, difficulty, and then of course the different environments that you can play on. So uh, it's it's going to keep it it's going to keep it fairly fresh, I think. So that's quite nice. And uh, currently, the game is fifty percent off until the fourteenth of December. So if you like the look of this, then it's currently like a tenner on Steam, so probably well worth a look. But uh, that is Fort Triumph. Nice little mash between Heroes of Might and Magic and XCOM. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.